Go Leopard Ball Python. Everybody, it's Adam at Proper Royals today. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at our female leopard ball python. So uh, I always forget to mention, so I'll just do it up front. If you like it and enjoy it and all that, help us out with a subscribe, like, and check us out on Facebook. We're rolling there now too on Proper Royals on Facebook. So the leopard gene, let's talk through this for a moment. So it is a, a dominant gene. And usually in our hobby, when we say something's dominant, we mean incomplete dominant. But on leopard, there is no super form. So uh, whether you have one copy of the leopard or two copy of the leopard uh, gene, they both look the same. There's not an identifiable um, super form of the leopard. So this is a dominant ball python gene. It's a dark gene. I don't know if you can notice here. The blacks are very, very black, and the contrasts are very high. Because of that, it makes the leopard one of the very best for combos. I cannot wait to work this girl into a lot of different um, genes. She's also hepide. We'll show you under the lights some of her markers. Um, so she's a big part of our of our breeding plans. I think first off, she's going to meet a uh, orange dream hepide. So we could get orange dreams and leopards, which will bring out the uh, oranges, but it will really heighten the contrasts too. And if you see, it also jumbles up the pattern. There's, they can be uh, really connected. The alien heads just turn into these really great spots. And you see it's pretty aptly named as the leopard. Um, the other cool thing is, and we'll get it under the lights if not, but she's got a really great head stamp. Let's see if I can turn her over. Almost a wishbone looking. Come on. Ha. Of course, she's not going to participate with us right now. Uh, but her head stamp looks almost like a, uh, like a wishbone. But to my eyes, she has a bit of an olive or greenish uh, hue to her on the sides and on the bottom. Almost, almost like a yellow belly. And I don't think her pairing would allow for her to be yellow belly, but you see some of that flaming in there. And it gets, like I say, kind of a yellowish, brownish, greenish, olive drab color that I really think is great and really glows and is a bit iridescent in the lights. So that's the leopard gene. Let's get her under the lights and take a look at her up close. So here she is under the lights. You can see the longer connected patches on the sides here. And check out that head stamp that she has as well. I've seen them, this one looks kind of like a wishbone. I've seen them vary from uh, a wishbone to some spots. find her colors to be almost olive-like in person. There's like a little bit more of a green and yellowish glow than just normals. There you go. You could see her stretched out. See all the connected alien heads on the side? Now she's hepied as well. See down here, it looks like some hepied markers. And the rest of the belly you could see is kind of normal for what a leopard would look like. There's another shot of that kind of telltale leopard head stamp. So that is the leopard gene. Again, a female leopard het pied. There's a nice shot of those markers. Single dominant leopard gene. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Cheers to you wherever you are. See you next time.